Hello, today I am riding my big bray for the first time. He's the biggest horse I've rev ever ridden. I've ridden many horses, but he's definitely the biggest horse I've ever ridden. We're going to get him tacked up. Here's the tack. I've just come off Lourdes, so the tack's a little bit muddy, but we're going to wipe it down. We're going to take him to a place we're familiar with, where we used to live, where we broke taxi in and Lourdes. So we're familiar with it. It's going to simulate a day's hunting because he's going to be out in the horse box and then we're going to get to know him. We're going to take it steady, take it gentle, but we may throw a few obstacles at him, but we're going to keep it simple for now. So I've tacked him up quite uneventful. I've been tacking him up this whole week, so he's used to it. I just need to make sure before I put it on, I loosen all the buckles and I make sure I put it on the right size because he doesn't like fussing around his head, which is understandable, but because he shares the same bridle and saddle with Lourdes, that I, there's some adjustments to do, which is fine, but he stood here perfectly. I'll hoof pick him. I'll then put a sweat rug on him and a bridle and load him up in the horse box. So we loaded up pretty easily. There was another horse in the horse box, but that doesn't make too much difference. I was trying to find my hat, but I'm in it. I looked for a very long time. Now I can't find my cap, but oh well. So I found my cap and I also found some biscuits. So I'm pretty happy. We're only going about half an hour away. Uh, we make sure we've got all our coats because it looks like it's going to rain, but I hope it doesn't because I don't fancy getting wet. But it's only half an hour away, yeah, and I got biscuits to enjoy, so yeah. So, my first time on him. I've lunged him at home. I also turned him out at, at night, so he shouldn't be too awake. It is a little bit windy today. It's died down now, but we are going around a wood, so I need to be careful of that as well. Also, there is a road nearby, so I've got to be mindful of the cars, but I don't want to overthink it. I'm just going to get on him. Cool, good boy. Hey, good boy. Good boy. I just wanted to get on quite quick. I don't want to dilly dally. But he's, I will practice standing so he doesn't walk off in the future. But he seems to be care, he seems to be, doesn't mind. He's a lot bigger than my old pony, obviously, my 15-2, my but he, yeah, because he's 17-2. I'm excited to ride him, excited to go around the fields and the wood, and he seems to be stood perfectly fine, but he's still young, and there's still a lot of learning. I'm excited. Cool. He's quite forward going, isn't he? Yeah. Good boy. He is a prick forward. He's got quite an even stride. He doesn't seem to be stronger on one side, good boy, than the other. Good boy. He's obviously, he's looking to want to encourage him forward. I have to get used to the height. I'm ducking at things that I don't normally duck at. Don't normally have to. I can normally go underneath. I've only ridden him for a few minutes now. He is a prick and he seems to be forward going. All good signs. I'd rather a horse up. I don't have to keep kicking forward. I'm trying to get him straight and even, but I'm aware that I, I won't have as much control now than I will by the end of the year. Good boy. So I'm just testing him out, just getting a feel for him. This is the first time I've ridden him. So I'm not sure how he's going to react to some sort of sort of birds flying out or the wind in the trees. So far, so good. Good boy. He seems to hesitate, but if I kick him forward and click, he gets past them. I don't have the control of 
a maid horse, but I wasn't expecting that. I see. Oh. Over? I can get over that. Good boy! <laughs> Easy! First jump! That was awesome. Well done. Good boy. Look at this. Ah, I don't need a track. Ow. Look at that. Did you see the jump? Hey? Did you see the jump? That was first attempt. This is second attempt. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Hey. Oh, there's a tree, man. Obviously, I don't have the steering like I should do. Oh! Yikes! No. There you go. I should have ended up over here. Stand, stand. Good boy. Good boy. Look at that. Yeah. Good boy, come on. Good boy, come on. Good boy. Good boy. Oi, where you go? That way. Good boy. Oh, where are you going? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, come on. What are you doing? Come on. Boy. Hey? Wait, wait, don't. Whoa. Bloody hell. I mean, forward going, but a bit of a kamikaze. Jumping things like that one day. And he's very, very forward. I like that. Good oh boy. Good oh boy. Hey. It's just, just a big stone. There you go. Good oh boy. Thank you. No, no, no. Good boy, no. Good boy. Hey. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah, of course. 
Good boy. Good boy. That wasn't too bad. That was amazing. Got a lot to work on, but I mean, that was. Got the foundation. Come on. Good boy. Okay, so we're back from my hack. We just managed to escape the rain. You can possibly hear it on the roof. I'm really happy with that. He showed a lot of potential, really promising. He didn't spook, but if he looked at something, I just I could kick him on and he'd walk past it. He'd just have a look, which is normal for a horse that age. He also was very forward going. He just needs more confidence, which I'll give him, because uh, we we're gonna take him to the cross country and maybe a bit of work in the arena, some pole work, and that will all help with his confidence and his ability. So he got to the jump, he could do it, but it wasn't as good as it could have been. I'm gonna teach him all that, so if you'd like to watch me go to cross country, make sure you follow, because that when it all opens, I'm gonna go do that. I'm really happy with that though. When I rode him, he didn't feel that big, as big as he was. He's five, he's still got a lot of growing because Irish drafts, which he is, don't stop growing until they're six or seven. And he's also quite lanky, so when he's put on the muscle and the, the bulk, he's gonna feel bigger, but by then I would've got used to him. And that's just, yeah, we need to get used to each other. I'm gonna continue to ride him, hack him out, take it very slowly, but I will build his confidence up over the a course of the year and hunt him this winter um, but I won't scare him we only threw the obstacles at him that we managed that we thought he would cope and deal with we didn't want to scare him because it's quite easy to throw a bunch at a horse and then lose their confidence that's not what we're for we don't want to do that we want to build their confidence so we take it very slowly it's not about the height it's about the striding and all the little behind the scenes just because you can jump big doesn't mean it was perfect but he's showing a lot of potential i really enjoyed him he's got a quite he's got quite com comfy cancer i just had to kick him on in a few places to get him past because i was with another horse and even if you know when you leave a horse they don't like that but he seemed to manage he seems he didn't fret and it was perfect like it wasn't perfect but it was close enough to what we want. The stables are so close together that he can see them and he's with them 24-7. So actually going away from another horse that he's bodied up with is actually quite a big deal. So we're, it's just little things like that that we're happy about. But if, you're, if you want to see more then make sure you follow because I'm going to get him to what I want. I'm going to make him into the best hunter around. All the experience from my previous horses I'm going to pour onto him. I'm not going to rush him but I'm going to teach him, I'm going to do everything. So yeah, thank you very much.